have a couple of sculptures, including this marble piece, which is um, uh, the marble itself is called Bianco Cividale from uh, from from Italy, uh, which I sculpted uh, within three weeks with a sculptor called Gian Pietro Carlesso, who taught me. So this is my very first um, marble piece carving. I wanted to use th that that geometrical shape, which is quite generally con considered a cold, geometrical, perfect shape. And just by simply disrupting this, by creating one cut, suddenly it would become a lot more visceral and a lot more bodily. So really trying, I was trying to do as little as possible and, and yet try to, to create that warmth within a material that's so cold. So I tried it to make my mark as insignificant as possible. I've done a series of monotypes as well, which are behind me, and uh, they are um, little prints. The, the technique is quite interesting because the content of those uh, monotypes uh, are inspired by a book of marble quarries in the 80s. And you discover that in quarries, in order to cut marble, you need lots of water. So the process of, of, of this, this plate, the, the watercolor on plate, uses lots of water. So in a way, the material are uh, echoing. The show is really on, based on the idea of, the, of how the horizon um, affects all of the, of, the, of the work here. This is how it, it linked all the, the, the pieces. Um, it's also how so the, the effect it had on us as artists, feeling tiny in, the, in a vast uh, space of nature. My work around the show is uh, this piece behind me, the headstand piece, which was made during the residency in America. I also have behind you two craters, which are uh, glass pieces with the print. Um, the aim with those works, which are actually quite uh, old now, I made them four years ago, was to give some depth or some height to an image. So you have uh, photographs of uh, craters, which when you see them are, are flat and I'd simply cut out the crater area and placed it on uh, the front part of a double glazing which gives you the depth, that void in between. The piece that I made here for the show which is called the full piece, which is an installation, it has uh, three components. One of them is a medium format print. You also have the sound work, um, which uh, if you follow the electrical cable, um, leading you to the speaker that's hovering in the space just over the mat where I landed, this uh, speaker is carrying the sound of the fall, which is played twice an hour. We also have uh, small works around the space, which are um, bits of uh, a film, photographic film, on, uh, on small prints, which are on newsprints. These works were an attempt to document all of the sound recording uh, devices that I used uh, to record the sound piece. And what happened is uh, it came back and got the film developed and nothing was actually on the film. So luckily enough, I had some um, digital checks, which I uh, then placed around the space where the pictures were taken. The fall for me was um, an attempt to engage with the space uh, and the notion of the horizon, which is very linear. And I was interested in the idea of uh, falling and not being it, not being a failure, but actually being the purpose. In this piece, it's uh, sort of the opposite because here I fell and in the headstand I actually uh, take off the ground which uh, at, the, at that time was due to a, a frustrating feeling of sitting on the top of the Smithsonian Butte for just photographing and put the camera down and did the headstand as I, I needed to stand, I needed to do something. I'd been sat there contemplating for, for too long. Mm -hmm. 